great day to take your dog for a walk. Uh, we are expecting some very warm weather on the way here for today. Warmest day so far in 2020 heading our way. Now we do expect some more rain chances on the way for Friday and Saturday, but at least the 70s. Yeah, the 70s. They are going to stick around at least through the first part of the weekend. Tracking a few more chances for some showers and storms on Friday, Saturday, especially Saturday evening brings much better chances for showers and some thunderstorms. Another cold front going to sweep through on Saturday evening, but uh, checking in this morning. Everything is dry across the region. We will be likely tracking a couple of showers to our north and west later on this morning through the early part of the afternoon, but waking up uh, mid to upper 40s, lower 50s right now as well. Uh, 45 in Mount Vernon, 50 in Marion. We've also got 47 currently in Cape 46 degrees at this hour in Paducah, 49 currently in Murray, Kentucky. Live view from Marion looking back into the western sky. Not nearly as course as much traffic as a normal morning with many people either working remotely or not working at all right now. We, uh, of course, are uh, seeing a lot less traffic on many of the area roads. Cold front to our north and to our west. Area of low pressure back into southeastern Kansas as it begins to track off to the east. Could see a couple isolated showers and storms develop just to the west of the St. Louis metro area and then head down I-64. Could impact some of our far north and western counties later on this morning, say about uh, Perry or Jefferson County, upwards of about uh, anywhere from 10 a.m. to about 1 p.m. today. Still small chances for rain, and most areas are going to stay dry through today. Much larger storm system moving through the desert southwest this morning, and this is a much bigger storm system. It's going to move into the plains over the next 24 hours and eventually heading uh, into the upper Midwest for the first part of the weekend. That's the one that's going to bring us some better rain chances by Saturday, but uh, a little more cloud cover today. There's a small chance for that isolated shower coming into the forecast. Uh, 11 a.m. this morning. Notice it moves right down I-64. Perry Jefferson County, a chance for an isolated shower, possibly an isolated thunderstorm fades away pretty quickly, and by this afternoon, strong winds out of the south and southwest and an Additional cloud cover today still though extremely warm temperatures again the breeze could pick up anywhere with gust uh, about 20 to 25 miles an hour this afternoon looking ahead to Friday though slightly better chances for some showers and storms notice the wind direction here on Friday morning notice uh, much of southern Illinois winds out of the north and east to begin the day further to the south winds still out of the south so we're going to be watching a boundary kind of moving back and forth over the next couple of days and with that each time it passes by slightly increased chances for some showers and storms this model may be a a little overdone on some of the rain Friday evening, but still expecting some scattered showers, some scattered storms as a possibility. Again, heading into this afternoon, we're talking mid to upper 70s across much of southern Illinois. Check that out. Sykeston, Portageville, Missouri, down into the boot hill. We'll not be surprised. We end up with some low 80s in a few spots in that mild weather. Despite the rain chances on Friday still sticking around, temperatures dropping back a few degrees, added cloud covers, some rain chances there, so temperatures into the middle 70s. Today, though, 77 degrees on average. Small chance for an isolated shower, about lunchtime or so and then winds out of the south again a bit breezy this afternoon and this evening winds will start to die down just a bit more cloud cover late this evening closer to midnight but temperatures hovering in the lower 60s here's that big storm system on saturday moving from the plains into the upper midwest rain chances increasing especially late in the day on saturday and the storm prediction center highlighting us in a level one it's a marginal risk so an isolated strong storm or two is possible at this point not expecting big time severe weather but an isolated storm with some gusty winds and some small hail a possibility there on Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening behind that cold front. We do cool back a few degrees by Sunday, but more sunshine also in the forecast 65 on Sunday should be a pretty nice day looking ahead to next week. Early next week temperatures into the upper 60s, but uh, heading back into the upper 50s for Tuesday and Wednesday with more chances for some showers. Evie.